First, let's watch how hops plants grow through a single season. Hops are a crown-forming plant, and during the winter, the crown lies dormant under the soil. In the spring, new vines emerge and grow upwards in a clockwise pattern and are typically trained to strings on a trellis. Notice that these stems are called vines with a B. We typically cut back the earliest vines and train vines that emerge later in the spring. This selection of later emerging vines can help with disease management and crop timing. As the plants grow, the main vine will produce side stems called laterals. And on these laterals is where the hops plant will produce flowers that later turn into the cones. It's important to realize that in hops plants, there can be both male and female flowers that are typically produced on separate male and female plants. Female plants produce the cones and so are the only ones grown in a typical commercial production setting. The hops cone contains lupulin and alpha and beta acids that impart the flavor and bittering qualities to beer. If male plants are allowed in the field, the cones will have seeds in them, which reduces hop cone quality. Hops flower once they reach a certain number of nodes and when they are, there are short days. Hops are primarily grown in the north where day lengths exceed 15 hours. Here in Arkansas, our longest days are 14.5 hours in midsummer. Our shorter days mean that the plants very likely flower as soon as they reach the correct number of nodes. This may limit our yields because plants flower before the plant has put on a lot of side lateral growth. So cutting back those early shoots may help force the crop to be slightly later and may improve yields and hop cone quality. However, we're still trying to determine optimum cutting back or pruning dates for Arkansas. Female flowers develop into cones over a period of several weeks, but are not immediately ready for harvest. Or we will discuss how to determine when a hop cone is ready for harvest a little later on. Cones can be individually hand harvested on young plants or the vines can be cut to the ground and all the vines removed in a single harvest. After harvest is over in the fall, the vines are cut back to the ground and the plant returns to the dormant state as winter approaches. <music>